Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to tell you how to win hackathons and how I have won 17 different hackathons, being an individual candidate in many of them as well. So, in this video, we will cover up karenge how to find out hackathons, how to win them, how to make a team, what tech stack to choose, and what are the differentiating factors that actually separate winning team from the other teams. So, talking about the platforms, there are a lot of platforms like Unstop, Devfolio, Devpost, Hacker Earth, and many of them. But if you'll ask me, I will give you two advices. Dunga. The first advice is be active on the Instagram pages of different clubs that may exist in your college or other colleges as well. Why so? Because these are the clubs that actually organize these hackathons. So, if you follow them actively, follow karte ho, so you can get a lot of details from there as well. Second advice is, whenever there is a WhatsApp group created for a particular hackathon, don't leave it immediately after the hackathon is over. Why so? Because there are many groups where the hackathon's ki details actually share hoti hai, even if the hackathon is over. So you can actually get the latest updates regarding other hackathons as well. Right. So what did I tell? You have Unstop, Devfolio, Devpost, Hacker Earth, and these groups as well, be it pages of clubs or be it the WhatsApp groups of different hackathons. So apart from this, what do you need to follow? Kuchni. That's more than enough. Now talking about the team. Ab aapko hackathon ke baare mein pata hai. Now your next concern is what is required in the particular team or how should you make an ideal team. So in that case, I'm considering two scenarios. First is, you have to have four members in your team. And second is, you have to have six members in your team. If you need a team with four members, it should be your front-end developer, your back-end developer, your AIML or blockchain guy, whatever the utility you have to use according to that. And the fourth one is your ace presenter. Front-end guy has to create an effective user interface that can be as attractive as possible. Backend guy has to make sure that it is get uh, his backend is getting integrated as well and is efficient as well, performing the required functionality. AIML guy or blockchain guy is the one who is going to help you create your USPs, like the separating factor from the rest of the teams. So you have to make sure he holds the proper expertise. And the fourth guy is the presenter, the one who has the smallest role in terms of the time duration because his role comes in actual presentation itself but he holds the actual importance or significance in terms of the results because you have developed your prototype but the result is going to depend upon the presentation that that presenter is going to give in front of jury so this is the ideal four people combination i would suggest what about the six people combination in that case, I would suggest that you have to add two more things. Keep these four as it is. The fifth one would be your Android guy. Like just imagine you are creating a web-based prototype. Along with that, you have a similar Android prototype as well for same functionality. It would give you an edge. And the sixth guy would be your researcher. Why researcher? So just imagine that you had an awesome and fanta fantastic uh, presentation. Right? After that, you would have a section known as Q&A, where your judges are going to ask you about their, uh, their doubts and questions. What if you are not able to answer them properly? It creates a very bad impression. And I can say that if you had an ace presentation and if you still lose, the major reason behind it is lack of quality answers in Q&A. So your researcher guy, should actually focus upon the research and he should handle Q&A properly. He, he should know everything related to the problem statement, related to the prototype that you have built. And not only that, but the business plan that is associated with your product should be known to him as well. Now next, what about the tech stack that you have to follow? I would suggest just start with whatever you know. But if you don't know anything, you are just beginner for the hackathons. Then in that case, you can just start with HTML, CSS, JavaScript. And with that HTML, CSS, JavaScript, you can use Flask or Django. 
as backend and static html pages for front end to just display the user interfaces that's not the bad start that's how i started i would say what's next what if you know the development now so in that case you have to follow react based front end and back end of your choice you can use nextjs as front end and back end as well mern as your tech stack and python based tech stack as well like flask for back end and react for front end or uh, django for back end fast api for back end like what i used to use is flask for back end and react or nextjs for front end it is effective because it has a higher uh, development speed so the next thing that i would tell is avoid using spring boot or such text uh, text stack because the reason behind it is they create the good application in terms of performance but we cannot implement a lot of features in short span of time in spring boot based application or java based application so you can avoid that now you have figured out the text stack as well now let's come how to do ideation and how to present the idea and everything in between so in terms of ideation don't try to implement everything that's the first and very important advice like if there is a problem statement given to you there are 99% chances that most of the features that you are thinking about are already being implemented and other teams are thinking about that as well so there's no point wasting time on it right so what should you focus upon you should focus upon the features that others are not thinking about and that actually requires research as well as heavy ideation so ideation becomes very important you should have few us usps that are going to help you separate your prototype or idea from rest of the teams and that can actually help you win what the next what's the next advice that i would like to give so be very crisp and specific during presentation why so so don't just waste your time in telling the things that judge me already know right in terms of prototype solution like you can spend a good heavy time like 1 minute or 1 and 1/2 minutes in presenting the problem you can spend a good time in presenting the solution as well but make sure you are not wasting your time in explaining login and sign up that creates a very bad impression and judges actually lose interest because of this it is not like the presentation we have in colleges you should be very crisp very specific like this is the problem this is the solution this is the unique selling point or usp that we are proposing and this is how it is different from rest of the products and the last thing that i would like to tell you is what is that one thing that i have figured out that many people ignore while doing hackathons so it is giving equal weightage to different evaluation criteria why am i saying so so suppose just imagine that there are five different criteria for a pro- particular problem statement or hackathon on whose basis the winner is going to be announced right just consider those criteria as problem statement clarity innovative solution that you are proposing scalability of the product that you are proposing presentation and the business plan that you are proposing now just imagine what do we do we do ideation we do prototype development we think about scalability sometimes right and the last thing is we give an exceptional presentation but still there are a lot of incidents when we don't win the hackathon the whole and sole reason behind it is that people don't focus upon the evaluation criterias like if i have developed a good prototype i would think that i am going to win it but that's not how judge can do or judge things he would say that oh he has built an awesome prototype but he has no clear idea of how this project can be converted into product and can make a change and earn money as well so prototype would have rating as 10 on 10 but business plan i don't know what they are going to think about it so make sure whenever you are trying to present your idea you are thinking in all terms and when i say all terms it means that you are thinking in all the directions from ideation 
to the problems that people are facing to the solution that you are proposing and most importantly how are you going to convert this idea into business and these things are something when focused properly they are not only going to give you a proper road map or proper plan while developing the product but they are going to help you think in a business level mindset as well so i think that's enough for you to know right now how to improve your performance in hackathons in further videos i am going to tell you how to pitch your idea with a sample pitch as well how to present your idea how to answer in q and a and everything involved in hackathons so that's it for today hope it helps and let's grow together thank you